Good morning. Good morning, Kev. Can we start with a little overview on the charity? What do you do and who do you help? Um, we upcycle old bathtubs into educational garden planters. We then donate them into schools, uh, community centres and residential care homes. We go in and we teach people about growing their own food, which is a life skill we all should have, sustainability, gardening and wildlife uh, preservation. The idea of upcycling a, a bathtub, it's pretty unique that, isn't it? Um, they've been used on allotments for years. We do it a little differently. We build it to a certain height so it's accessible for the elderly, disabled and children. We whack a wooden frame around it to hide the bath so you don't actually see the bath. It just looks like a garden planter. And when you go into schools, I guess the engagement you have with little ones is lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's brilliant. Um, they get engaged, they get their hands in the soil, they learn about nature. It's the best job in the world, Kev. And are you a little team or a big team? Uh, we're a little team. Uh, consist of just myself and my wife, Kez. Um, we rely on volunteers, but we're growing every day, excuse the pun. OK, people uh, listening, if you want to find out more about the work that Up The Garden Bath do, just jump onto their website, upthegardenbath.co.uk. Now, we are speaking to you in a lot more detail on our uh, podcast. Myself and John Baker have just recorded our latest episode of the Peterborough podcast, and you can hear much more about the work that Dave and his team do. But I did want to speak to you this morning on PCRFM because as a charity, you obviously rely on fundraising and you've got some fairly exciting news to share that may well lead to a, a nice dollop of cash to help the work that you do. What's the story, Dave? OK, we are down to the last five in a national lottery um, award called the People's Project. Um we're down to the last five, like I said, in the whole of the Anglia West region. So that's really, really important. Wow. We do rely on the public vote, um, but potentially we can win £70,000 funding for our project. £70,000? That would make such a difference, wouldn't it? Huge, huge. We can yeah. invest in so much infrastructure. We can just grow and grow. Imagine the amount of schools you could go into. Imagine how many workshops you could create. Imagine how many children you can engage with. It would make such a difference. So, how can people help you win this? We need your votes. Um, voting closes this Friday at midday. You can find the voting information on our website or across our social media pages. And please, just vote for Up the Garden Bath. Vote for Up the Garden Bath. I'm looking on the website now. What have you got to click when you're online? OK, just go to About Us. Um, scroll down to the blog at the bottom. You'll see the People's Project logo. Click on that, follow the link. It's free. It takes 60 seconds to vote for Up the Garden Bath, but your vote will make the world of a difference. I can see it now. Yeah, the People's Projects. Got it on your website, on the About Us section. Uh, Dave, it's great to catch up with you. Have a wonderful day, and I, I do hope you, you can uh, be successful in this, uh, this possibility of getting this extra cash because you so deserve it. Have a good day, my friend. Speak soon. Have a, thank you, Kev. Take care. Take care. You too. And the-